Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion. And this is Kenshi. Well, we're still in a pretty rough place, I would have to say. Everybody's here, but uh, yeah, it's a little bit crazy right now. Let's see what we can do to move these teeth uh, into this slot so we can get a little more organized and then let's start picking up uh, iron plates around. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, trade with Matt since he's down and can't pick anything up on his own. So we'll give him uh, these plates. Yeah, he can fit at least one more. So that's good. Let's grab these. So I'm just going to fill up uh, everybody's inventory with iron plates that we can. We have plenty of building materials back home, so iron plates are the necessity. And uh, yeah, we will start heading back home uh, to the hub once we have all of this picked up. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of this bandit horde. This is absolutely crazy. I'm going to need everybody to uh, yeah, avoid them. And Mew, you need to be sneaking for sure. There's no way that we need to uh, tangle with these folks. I did pick up a couple of building supplies along with all of the iron plates. Uh, but we are pretty well loaded down. Everybody's moving slow, except for Koth, who's carrying Matt, who's fully loaded, and Koth is also fully loaded, so... Koth is, uh, a beast right now, that's for sure. Let's have him follow Hammett for, for now. And, uh... In fact, let's have everybody follow Hammett. He isn't necessarily the slowest, but... Um, it's easier for me to move him around, especially once we get to bad teeth. I'm gonna stop there and see if we can pick up some food, uh, because I think... Oh, Mew still has room in her inventory. I didn't uh, didn't recognize that. Okay, coming up to bad teeth now. These are holy servants ahead of us. You can see right here is what I clicked on. They don't look very strong, and I don't think that they're aggressive towards us. Hang on. I'll bet these guys are pretty tough, though. Yeah, hi, Paladin. They're super tough. Like the uh, Sheik warriors or whatever. So, I don't think that they're aggressive, though. I think we're okay. I haven't been sneaking this whole time. I was running uh, for a short while. But here we are at the town now, so that's good. Yep, divine blessings. All that. Uh, let's come to the bar first. And we're going to sell off all of our teeth here. Okay, we sold our uh, goodies and bought a little bit of dried meat. There's two more bars, though, and a... Uh, a cooking place. Okay, it's locked. So we'll check the other bars for... Oops, Hammett is the one that I wanted to get. And actually, I have Hammett carrying Matt now um, to improve his strength a bit. Uh, but yeah, we're going to check around and uh, see if we can buy a bit more meat if possible. Two more here. That's good. Holy barman. That just sounds... Like an oxymoron to me for some reason. Like, why did they need three bars at the in the Holy Lands? Here we go, eleven meats. That's gonna satisfy us for a while. Uh, Mew. Let's see, Hammett trade with Ruka, I think. Where is she? Why is she not following us? Okay, so that's all the food that we can carry in our uh, backpacks anyway. And I'm going to continue with the assumption that um, backpack food will be shared with the whole crew. And we'll see how that goes for us on the rest of our journey home. If we end up getting home with some hungry mouths, then we'll know it's not the case. But got my fingers crossed that it will be the case. 
Yeah, all of the, uh, yeah, those are holy nations again. All of the hordes of people walking around the desert here seem to be um, pretty numerous. Like, huge groups of folks. These are dogs again? Yeah. I thought I saw two of them wandering around here. Yep, there are two. I think this one's a pup. Yeah. And that's an adult. Uh, we're not in great shape to fight. Hammett's fully healed. Mew's pretty rough. Ruka's fully healed, as is Koth. Koth's a little low on blood, but not by much. So we have three... Oh, never mind. Never mind, that was the bone dog I was looking at. So we have two uh, fit fighters. Hammett and Mew are still pretty messed up. But I think Ruka is wearing a... No, she's wearing a thieves backpack. So she and Koth can still fight, even though they have backpacks on. Uh, but we'll see if these guys even decide to attack. They're very well made. They seem pretty aggressive. Okay. Looks like we may be safe this time. Yeah, so this is kind of an odd place. Did I already come here before? Holy Mines? I can't remember if I ever actually investigated this place or not. Let's take a look and see. We'll go inside and uh, find out if there's any badness here. Any reason for us not to be here. Okay, there are people here. Who are they? Holy Nation Paladins. So we don't want to steal anything here or else we will definitely get thrashed. Yeah, and there's people laying down and stuff like that. Okay, so this isn't a place that I want to rob. They don't really look like they have anything anyway. Let's check this other building, though. Uh, oh. Leave at once. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, there's prisoners in here. Is he still coming after us? No. Okay. But even if Koth is sneaking... Okay, here we go. Now, we could pick the locks and release these guys. But I don't know if that's really what we are trying to do here. Oh, there are dudes in here. Okay. Uh, follow Hammett, and let's get the heck out of here. Ruka, follow along too. Okay. No worries, we're getting the heck out of here. Okay, so that's not a place that I really want to go to then. What's this rebel base over here? Some rebel scum. Clean up your beasts? What are you talking about? They're so rude. Okay, I don't remember sending Dr. Chung and Zarks up into the uh, Shinobi Thieves building, uh, but that's where they are. So I'll try to get them back. Keep an eye on the others in case they come under attack. I don't think they will, but who knows. And Hammett, you're going to be coming straight inside, buddy. Okay, since we are coming in with a bunch of um, supplies, I think I will do storage for building supplies and yeah, building materials. What in the world? Why are they under the ground like this? Something's not right here. Uh, storage for iron plates we'll try. Requires an iron plates. It's such a large area, I really don't think it needs to be this big. If we can shove it somewhere out of the way, like over here, that'll be fine. And then the same uh, with a building supply storage, or building material storage. Yeah, now it's in a reasonable place here. Try to get it as close as we can to the other storage. There. That requires iron plates, and I believe this other one requires iron plates too, doesn't it? Yeah. So we have to wait until the other people get here before we can do anything, but uh, Zarks, you have a book to put in here. 
Okay, and then Dr. Chung, do you have any books? Yes, you do. You have four books. Okay, and then we're going to uh, show research. Okay, so what do we have here? Fabric manufacturer, makeshift walls. We could do uh, generators, improve stone mining. I want to get to uh, level two, right? Tech level two. We need one more research artifact, which I believe Hammett has on them, right? Because we need six books. So as soon as they get back, we're going to be uh, able to do a load of good things. Okay, we've got trade ninjas and hungry bandits. I'm going to get Zark's Dr. Chung and uh, Koth and Ruka, not Hammett, uh, to go ahead and engage these guys. Hungry bandit. Uh, he must be dead already. This one must be dead already. Uh, maybe they're all dead already. Hungry Bandit, attack unprovoked. Uh, Hammett, go ahead and come up here. And let's slow this down. Ruka and Koth. I was thinking there was another one over here. There's a random bar out here. This must be the Rebel Outpost uh, that I saw on my map earlier. Okay, and this guy is capturing target, so he must be trying to uh, get these bandits wrangled. There's goats here, too. Are they alive, or are they dead? Slightly injured? Because I would love to get... Uh, I would love to get some animals. Let's see if they have any healing items on them. So, Koth, uh, Ruka, go ahead and search this one instead. Okay, nothing. Nothing. I thought they usually had at least some kind of healing items on them. Doesn't seem to be the case, though. Okay, the, it didn't seem like the one that Koth looked at had anything. Yeah, nothing. Okay. So Koth and Ruka follow Hammett again. And we'll head back to uh, the hub. Okay, the gang's all here. Uh, Zarks, what do you have in terms of inventory space? None, almost. Basically. Okay, I'm still going to have you trade with... Uh, trade with Matt, actually. Because we're going to need to uh, put him away soon for healing. Okay, we'll trade him uh, building materials. Alright, so Zark's work on the iron plates uh, storage here. That shouldn't take very long. Dr. Chung, can you help him with that? Yeah, they can build it together. That's fine. Amazing. Okay, Zark's. Uh, where did this other structure go? Why is it gone? Did I not click confirm? I probably didn't click confirm. Uh, Zargs, you ought to have the materials for this. You have an iron plates in your... No. You stored them all in here. You goof. Okay, build that. Wait, are they all adding their materials to this? They did. Koth, you still have some, right? Uh, auto hall. Yeah. Mew? Yeah, she stored all of her goodies. Hammett did. Ruka needs to. Perfect. Oh, that's beautiful. I really like that, actually. And then I assume that they're going to automatically uh, extract from that when they need to. Okay, so Hammett, go ahead and check this store that and then you're gonna want to go lay down uh, I would like to be able to see inside this without having to go inside but I I imagine Mew is going to bed right now yeah so we'll just see uh, when she gets over there what needs to be done okay Koth let me rearrange your inventory you're fine for now actually uh, general storage you could use 
Yeah, we'll store this skeleton leg. Hello? Autosave? Calm down. Until I get these uh, regular bolts, we'll store this in here. Hopefully we can find some of those soon, though. And he'll just stick with the toothpick for right now. And then once this building materials uh, structure is built, we can get into that. Okay, I thought so. It's a little ugly, but uh, I did make room for the leather. And so now, Hammett, you can actually go ahead and enter the place as well. And you're going to put Matt in bed, and you're also going to sleep because you are messed up, boy. Zarks is almost done building this thing. He's such a beast and a fast worker. One of the best, I'd say. Oh, yeah. Max capacity, 100. Auto halt there. Oh, it's out of resources. What do you mean you are? Okay, he's empty. She's empty. He's empty. She's got leather and steel, but we'll work with that later. Oh, Matt still has some... Yeah, I just moved those over, actually. Um, no big deal. Yeah. We'll go trade with him after he's uh, laid to rest. Then Zarks, go ahead and come up here. You'll take the building materials off. Oh, you've still got animal skins in your backpack, too. Okay. Was it Mew that still has skins? Yeah. Okay, Hammett, go ahead and sleep. Nope. I'm at the wrong angle. Yeah, sleep. You're also pretty messed up. Okay, that should be everybody's everything, and I think Zarks is automatically coming down to ditch resources, yeah. Perfect. Okay, Dr. Chung, I'm going to want you to uh, use this. I'm going to want you to inventory this. Why do they keep saying it's out of resources? I'm not sure. Tech level 2, why can't we... Requirements, small house... Oh, we have to research small house before we can get tech level 2? That's stupid. That is stupid. Koth, come over here and let's see if they have two uh, research artifacts here for us to use. Ruka, forget about what you're doing so that you'll stop telling me it's out of resources. Oh, Koth is already here. I was wondering where the heck he went. <laughs> here he is. All right, show me what you got. We'll take all of your books. These are heavy... These are toothpicks. Here's regulars. Spring steel? Okay. Is that like the opposite of winter steel? The plank? Nodachi? That's a, yeah, extended katana. Okay. Uh, I'm tempted to get these just so I can use that master class thing. There were 243. I don't want to get a lot though. Let's just get a couple. Yeah, that'll work. And then we can use that other one. It'll be fun. Okay, go ahead and inventory this then. Zarks, you dumped all of your goodies? Yes, you did. Uh, go ahead and check this chest for room. It's four. This is five, sadly. I don't think there's any place I can move it to in there. It'll definitely fit in here, though. We'll put it right next to the leg. Uh, all of those can be deposited. All of these can be deposited for now. Kind of like them arranged like that instead. Uh, this could be deposited. This along with the other skeleton stuff. Even though it's worth a lot. And Zarks is out of food, I just realized. Does Chung have... Oh, Chung has uh, these, though. Skin. Hello? Hello? Why doesn't that stack? Because it's stolen? That's silly. It's fine, though. Uh, these tools actually... Uh, Koth probably ought to carry them around. I thought that tools were necessary for building things, but I don't think that's the case. Okay, Koth is here. He's going to drop these in to here. And then this thing, we'll need to throw a small house in there and then tech level 2. There we go. Okay, Dr. Chung, you're going to use this. And it says Mew is up. So she must be... She's not quite fully healed. I'll tell her to sleep again. Just so she can heal up a bit more. 
They're healing really fast, though, up here, which is fantastic. It looks like Matt's no longer unconscious, but he definitely needs to rest some more still. I wonder if it's fine for Zarks. Can Zarks help? Dr. Chung, use this. Come over here. No. It's like they want to try to take turns or something like that. It's kind of weird. Yeah, so the uh, workshops that I had placed over here are gone also, even though I have the materials to build them now. So let's get into crafting. We want a weapon bench. Uh, I think we're going to put them over here next to the storage, actually. I thought about that uh, as I was placing the storage, that they should be over with the crafting stations. But that was when I thought the crafting stations still exist where I placed them. Six iron plates. Okay, that's going to be the position then. It's fine. Zarx, you need... Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, so he's got six of those. Now you can go build this. Thanks. Hammett is all healed up. We'll bring him back. So that just leaves him at. Research complete for the small house. Great. I actually don't care, but uh, it was necessary to get to tech two, so it is actually a good thing. Wow, this weapons workbench really takes some doing. It's almost done, though. Amazing. Okay, how to craft. Craft items, open the tech menu. Makes sense. Open the crafting tab. Makes sense. First, you need to uh, select a station from the section on the left side of the menu. Alright, this is getting more complicated. Crafting. Okay. So stations will be weaponsmith. It's the only one available right now. Staff, rusted junk. Uh, material cost two. What material, though? Building materials? No way. Polearm class does hardly any damage. Uh, cell value is 188. Yeah, iron plates times one. What's an iron plate cell value of itself? 152. So it's it's slightly better uh, to turn it into a staff. What about an iron club? What's its cell value? 150, so it's not worth it. It does a little more damage, though, it seems. Blood losses, more... This has an attack bonus, indoor penalty. This has an indoor bonus. Reduced attack and defense. Reduced damage versus animals. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Yep. Show you available items you can craft in the middle. Bottom panel shows how much time and materials you need. Left click to select an item to craft. Can queue multiple items or alternatively you can cancel them with the X. Make sure you have workers assigned to the workstation, which is crafting these items. You'll also need plenty of raw materials before you start crafting. Plenty. Okay. You can buy blueprints or research new items to craft. Fine. Good. That's pretty fantastic, actually. Hey, Ruka and Hammett, you guys get out of the way. Move, please. Get out the way. That's how the song goes, right? Get out the way, please. Get out the way. Okay, clothing bench requires three iron plates. So I'll just go ahead and have Zarks grab three. So we've got 13 left. That's not bad. And we'll try to shove this back here in such a way that it's kind of out of the way. Uh, and also accessible. Do I like that? I kind of do, actually. Pretty crammed in. Uh, but it makes the best use of our space, I believe. Okay, and Zarks is going to get on that. How's he doing right now? Uh, his engineering is up to level 13. Yeah, it's ticking up by doing this goodness. Really happy about that, actually. He's getting to be quite the engineer. Dr. Chung, how are you doing for science? 32 and climbing. That is wild. That is so good. Uh, Mew, I know you're a laborer, but were you any kind of a crafter? Laboring and farming? Her farming is 60. That's crazy high. Athletics is up to 66 now. Swimming 33. Stealth 38. Not bad. Not bad. I might have Mew be my second thief. 
Uh, so she and Koth can go run around and uh, steal things together. There's still openings in my crew as well, obviously, uh, for anybody who wants to have a character named after them. Just let me know which character uh, and what name that you would like. Zarks and Matt are the only two that are taken right now, and Koth, of course. Oh yeah, tech level 2 is done. Uh, so definitely let me know what you would like to see. Needs research bench level 2. Book times 2, bed. Okay. Medium building shells, tech 3. Uh, but what we wanted was... Oh, I thought for sure it was there. Industry, maybe? Can't be farming. Why would it be farming? Where do we find uh, leather... Yeah, leather armor crafting... What's it say? Requirements? None. Okay, new building leather tanning bench. So this by itself is what we need to research next. Uh, it requires four books. Then we get other stuff as well. Basic weapon grades. Rusting blade. Okay. We'll look into those. Electrics. Yeah, wind generator still available. Indoor lighting. Requires one book. Requires two book. We only have two book right now. Once Zarks is finished with this, we'll see if we can dismantle this uh, and build a level 2 building. Zarks, what are you doing, buddy? What do you mean you don't have any building materials? Did you auto-deposit a plate after I told you to build this? I think you did. Why didn't you just put all three of them in there in the first place? Also, it requires power. Uh, so maybe we do get on the wind turbine uh, for wind generation because it may take Zarks a little while to get this finished okay uh, the clothing thing is done so let's see clothing bench here we go we got turtleneck cargo pants wooden sandals a gi white vest cloth shirt worn out shorts samurai cloth pants standard grade gi pants rag loincloth rag shirt Martial Artist Bindings. Oh, Attack Damage is increased. Fist Protection increased. Martial Arts Bonus increased. Black Cloth Shirt. No armor coverage. So I guess we need some kind of upgraded... Yeah, Samurai Cloth Pants and what, the Rag Shirt. Both provide uh, small armor bonuses. Seems nothing else is really mint for armor so it's very basic i guess we need a different kind of crafting in order to get the uh, drifters pants and stuff done okay so that's been accomplished now we ought to be able to build a wind generator right yeah exterior uh can we put it on we can't put it on the roof which is a shame because it's not going to allow us to build it anywhere close by i feel like it's broken though i feel like it's not uh, coming out here properly. See how it's angled? All crooked-like. Can we not hook up to this guy? Or purchase this one, maybe? Power output, 50. Oh, I have, um... I have Matt selected. I don't want him doing anything. Uh, you're the engineer. Can you auto-haul this wind generator? He doesn't even say anything about it. I don't know what auto haul means. And it doesn't look like I can, uh. Yeah, power output is maximum. All that is fine, but I just want to build my own, is the only thing. And be able to plug into it. Like, it apparently wants to build on the ground out here, but I'm pretty sure since it's not green, it means I can't build there. So that's pretty frustrating. I guess I'll have to wait. Uh, to use this when we have a uh, regular outpost. And I should have instead uh, investigated or researched the fuel generator and the biofuel. What does this require? Wheat straw or green fruit. And then fuel generator takes four books. This takes two, so we need at least six more. And if we hadn't lost all those research artifacts from that lost library, we would be in heaven right now. But, unfortunately, we did lose them. 
And so we have absolutely nothing to work with. Alright, Zarks, do you have any food? No? Dr. Chung either? Our travel team, though, uh, does have food. Let's all meet up here. They have lots of food. So we're going to get ready for another run uh, to do something. I don't know, though, what we're going to do. We could go check out the hive again. Uh, we could check out Stack. I don't think we've actually been there before. So if we go check them out, see what they've got. Uh, they probably do have research artifacts that we could buy and stuff like that. We may discover uh, some ruins or something out along the outside. If not, we could just keep walking up into this area and see what we discover along the way. Because that's how we found these mines and uh, Narco's trap. Which, yeah, I don't remember that actually. This is where all the building materials were. I guess we didn't actually go here, I'm not sure. Matt, why are you sneaking, buddy? Hammett still looks like he's busted up. Yeah, he's bloody all over. Mew as well. Uh, Ruka, you could probably... Oh, I sold... I sold her helmet, dang it. I knew it was weird that she had a helmet in her pocket, but I couldn't figure out... Ugh. Oh. What a fool. Okay, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to fix that somehow. Alright, cough, come over here and get your new gun. There. And we'll sell your old darts also. Uh bring these tools along. Can you stack them? No. That's alright. They go kinda nicely right there. And you'll uh You'll use those to break into things. Okay, so yeah, that will be our next run then, is up here to stack, because I don't remember this town. And let's see who's the slowest again. I think it's Matt still. Yeah. So follow Matt. Uh, let's see. Zarks, if you would be so kind as to purchase you guys some food, since you're the one wearing the backpack. That would be pretty nice. Wow, Zarks is not slow, that's for sure. Let's trade. Wow, one food? Really? One dried meat? And he ate it right away? We'll take the rice bowl. This is 75 new. This is only 25. There's only one of these, though, is the problem. Two of these? Let's just buy them all. We'll get them all. And then, uh, yeah, Zargs, you can hang out over here again. That way they'll have something to eat. It'll be fine. The travelers are the ones that uh, can suffer with plain old dried meat. Man, that's probably about all the time that I have for this episode, though. Whether it's a long one or a short one. I'm not sure. It feels like it's going to be a short one. Uh, but it was a lot of at-home stuff. We finally got home safe. We got everybody rested and restored to full health. We got a few things crafted, or built I should say. Uh, we may do some crafting, but I'm not sure if I want to spend the materials that I have on that right now. We may wait until we can thieve up some more iron plates uh, before we do more crafting. And then it would be nice to be able to fabricate leather and stuff, so research artifacts are definitely uh, at the top of my list of things that I want to acquire. Whether we have to buy them or if I'm able to steal them, either way. It's going to be good. So yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. If you want to catch another one, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time that you spend on my channel. And I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell. Farewell.